Continuing coverage now on the war overseas. The United Nations agency in Gaza says an urgent ceasefire is a matter of life and death for millions of Palestinians. 22 News reporter Kiara Smith is live with us in studio. Kiara, you spoke with Massachusetts Congressman Richard Neal about the ongoing conflict. I did. Congressman Neal said the U.S. continues to stand firmly with Israel as one of their strongest allies. The fighting between Israelis and Hamas has not yet stopped and more innocent people are losing their lives. According to Gaza's Ministry of Health, more than 8,300 people have been killed, 66% of them women and children. And the United Nations Humanitarian Office says tens of thousands of people are injured. The Palestinian UN ambassador urged the Security Council to put an end to the violence, but Israel is rejecting the ceasefire. 22 News spoke with Congressman Richard Neil about this conflict. I think Israel has a right to defend itself. I think that uh, they have to deal with Hamas and I think that uh, President Biden correctly has urged uh, them to act within the framework of the uh, rules of law as it relates to the world order. Calls for a ceasefire in Gaza have grown louder today. A group today, a group of protesters interrupted a Senate Appropriations Committee hearing on Capitol Hill. Meantime, the White House said that 66 trucks of humanitarian aid have flowed into the Gaza Strip over the previous 24 hours, the highest single-day delivery of aid since the war began. Working for you live, Kiara Smith, 22 News.